Saint Clement of Baal. He was born in what we know today as the Czech Republic in 1751. And you would think a great saint would know their vocation and their calling in life. But Clement actually spent 12 years of his youth just trying to find himself. First he worked as a baker, and then he tried to be a hermit, then he tried to be a monk. It just never worked out and he ended up being a baker again. In 1784, he took a pilgrimage with his friend Thaddeus Hubel to Rome. And they decided as they were walking down the streets of Rome that they will attend Mass at the next church that the bells rang. As it happened, the bells rang at the Redemptorist Church of San Giuliano. And so they went there for Mass. And after Mass, they just decided, we'll join the Redemptorists. After their ordination, they were sent to Warsaw in Poland, where they took over the church of St. Benno. For years and years, the church was empty. But after a while, they decided to begin what is known as the perpetual mission. So not just a mass in the morning, they would then be followed up by five sermons in Polish and in German. There would be adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. There were confessions available the whole day. There were devotions and preaching. The next thing they did in St. Benno's was the liturgy. And for Clement, the sacraments and the liturgy was not just some kind of dispenser of God's grace. He saw that as an opportunity for people to experience God's plentiful redemption, love and mercy. And so the liturgies in St. Benno's were with beautiful music, relevant preaching, and well-planned liturgies. And soon there were 100,000 people attending the church a week, and the Redemptorist community had grown to 21 members. The motto that is often attached to St. Clement is preach the gospel anew. And that's always the challenge for Redemptorists today. He responded to a situation that he saw in Warsaw, and we too must respond to what is happening in our world to preach the gospel anew. St. Clement died in 1820, and as Redemptorists, we are looking forward to the 200th anniversary of his death. Preach the gospel anew.